What's going on today? You already know what it is. YBE TV, this is your man Toon. You already know. Um, today I got another question from my man Mark PM with Truck Choice, I guess. Uh, it say, hi man, good advice on your videos. Okay, thank you, I appreciate it, uh, Mark. I am planning on becoming an owner-operator someday. In your opinion, which truck would be best to buy? Volvo, Freightliner, Peterbilt, etc. Oh, I fucking love this one, man. I got to curse a little bit. So if you're around kids, turn down the value. I am a Freightliner man myself. I love Freightliner. I live. Now, Mac, I don't know a lot about Mac. I don't know a lot about Sterling. I don't know. I know a little bit about Western Star. Western Star I'm familiar with. Peterbilt, Kenworth, Volvo, Freightliner. Now, this is what I want to say. My pops taught me this. This was my first trainer, Pops. He like a father to me. His name is Auburn Edwards. He taught me this. He say, son, I drive an Escalade at home. I got, uh, like, he the type of person, let's just, I forget his trucks now. So let's just, you. he had two Escalades. He had the, you know, the one is made like an avalanche, and he got one that was made, you know, the regular big back SUV. Now, he say, son, if you want to drive a fancy truck, you drive that fancy truck at home on your home time. So I'm going to say it like this. Before I get a Peterbilt to run freight with, I'd rather go buy me a Porsche truck or a Infinity truck or an Audi truck. You get what I'm saying? Because that would be more of a luxury. To me, this is my personal feelings. This is not what everybody should think. Number one, a Peterbilt, a Western Star they are very expensive to fix. They're pretty expensive to fix. They made and they built with power. They built for power. They uh, they go out and they pull the loads. Like to me, it's cute. There's a lot of truck drivers out here, no disrespect to nobody, that I feel like that they run in a fashion contest. They want to go up the mountain and they want to go up in style and still be in seventh or eighth gear and be cruising up. Me with a freight liner, I'm going to probably be in fifth or sixth gear. I'm going to be going up that mountain like the little engine that could or the tortoise and the hare. I will be the turtle. Yes, I will be the turtle. They will be the hare. That's for Peter Bills. But the thing is, they burn more diesel for the most part. A lot of them burn a lot more diesel. If that freight liner and that Peter Bilt is up to specs and the motors is running right and they've been taken care of, that freight liner is most likely going to get way higher fuel mileage, which means my paycheck going to be way bigger than that Peterbilt paycheck. Last but not least, when that Peterbilt goes to a, a dealership and I go to the freight liner dealership, I need a turbo. They need a turbo. My turbo at a dealership, $2,500 at most, possibly. Peterbilt, you might be into the five six thousand dollars range. Now, that's just my preference with Peterbilt and Western Star. When you're dealing with Peterbilt, Western Star, and Kentworth, you are paying top dollar. Those are like the BMWs in the trucking industry. Now, I would ride a Peterbilt, a Kenworth, or a, a Peterbilt, Kenworth, Western Star, if I was doing heavy hauling. These Peterbilts, Western Stars, Kentworths, they could pull a goddamn house out of the ground. I'm telling you, if you hooked one up to this house, it would probably be able to drag me to Utah without unplugging one cord. I'm telling you, those are some powerful fucking trucks. If you doing that, like heavy hauling, you make the money, they got the strong rear end, they got the big old strong cat motor in them, or the Cummins motor in it most of the time. Yes, if you doing something that needs you, even flatbed, I would say do it for flatbed because you use a lot of the power. Volvos, Volvos are like, okay, Peterbilt, Freightliners to me are like Chevys. They like the old trusty Chevy. They get the job done. You might not be in the prettiest car, the most efficient. You might not have all the perks and gadgets to it, but it gets the job done well, and it gets the job done efficiently. Volvo, pretty efficient. Now, they kind of, you know, to me, I think that they kind of balance out with Freightliner to me because... Volvo might cost a little bit more to fix, uh, but 
they they run a little bit more efficiently than Freightliners. So they might get a lot better fuel mileage than the Freightliner will. And they run pretty efficiently. And they, they built the last pretty much. Well, Freightliners break down a, a little bit more. Now, Peterbilt's and, uh, Peterbilt's and uh, Kenworth's, they don't break down as much as possibly the, uh, the Freightliners do. So, you know, it's all about preference. And you ask me my preference. I'm not saying this is law. But what I say is this, and I'm going to end this here. I always say start off with something that's affordable. Get you an older Freightliner or an older Volvo. That's what I always vote. Put money to the side and find out what's the most expensive part of the service on that truck, which will most likely be, which will be the engine. Find out what does an overhaul cost. And you put that amount in your bank account. And you find you got your operating costs and you will not go out of business unless like some super crazy happen. All right. So only thing I'm going to say is, man, I'm a Freightliner, man. If I can't get the Freightliner that I want, I will go Volvo. And only where I would go Peterbilt Western Star or and uh, Peterbilt Western Star and Kenworth is if I'm doing something like heavy hauling, something that's going to pay the tab on it. But they do last. They built the last. They like a BMW. They do last. But. I just don't see myself riding in no BMW as a work truck. Not a work truck for me. So that's all I got to say. I hope that helped. I hope that ain't too biased for some of my Peterbilt fanatics out there. Sorry, y'all, with y'all 565s, y'all 683. Y'all be, boy, I swear y'all be in the truck stops going crazy. But that's what's happening. I hope that helped you, man. Shout out to my man, Mark. You already know what it is. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. YB. Killer to kill or a driller to drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.